In this short video, we will demonstrate the link between SIA Engineer and IDEA Statica connection, which allows you a fast and seamless transfer of steel connection between the two software. Starting from SIA Engineer, first we need to run the analysis in our global model so that all the internal forces are calculated. After the analysis is finished, we need to go to the steel module, where we can find the idea statical tools that have been added through the BIM plugin. The first step is to define a joint entity. This is a theoretical element that will allow us to identify and choose the members that we want to include in the export. Of course, you can select either one, or as many as you want with the same rectangular selection. The second and last step is to select the joint entity that we want to export to Idea Statica, and during this process we can choose what type of loads we want to use, like for example a specific combination of load cases or a result class. By clicking Export, Idea Statica automatically opens and the general geometry of the joint is imported, together with all the load combinations. So, the next step is to connect all the members with our manufacturing operations. Although this particular joint is symmetrical, and in reality the members on both sides of the column would be normally connected in the same way, for presentation purposes we will connect them in two different ways. On one side we will use a shifted end plate, on which all three members will be connected, and the first one will be the horizontal one. Next, we will use the cut operation to weld the SHS to the shifted end plate. Then, we can simply copy this operation to connect the second SHS. Having finished with one side, we will switch to the other one, where we will use a connecting plate, on which all three members will be connected similarly. Through the properties window, we can define the size of the plate, creating enough space so that the diagonal beams can be bolted as well and also adjusts the bolt definition. The diagonal SHS will be connected with the same manufacturing operation, but this time we will use the existing plate that was previously created.
The corner cut of the gusset plate can be easily defined through the plate cut operation, using the cap plate as the cutting element, so that we have a perfect alignment. And that's it! Our connection is ready to be analysed. After the analysis is finished, we can go to the check tab, where we can see the overall check that shows us if the connection has passed the code checks. We can look deeper into the results for all the elements of the connection, such as the plates, the bolts and welds. Since we have run the buckling analysis at the same time, we can also see the critical buckling factors that have been calculated. And for each critical factor, the buckling shapes can be visualized in the 3D model. In the ribbon, we can also find different analysis results such as the equivalent stress and the plastic strength that are visualized on the 3D model. Finally, we can go to the report tab where we can export the detailed output to PDF or Word. Of course, we have the option to enable or disable different sections of the output, depending on our needs. So, in this case, we will enable some more information, like the calculation formulas and the drawings. Returning to our model and assuming we are happy with this design, we can simply save and close the project. Saving the project is very important as this connection design will be embedded in the SIA engineer model through the joint element that was previously used for the export. This simply means that if we decide to export the same connection again, the idea Staticer project that will open will contain all the detailing work that we can have previously done, including the analysis results. As you can see, the combination and the link between SIA Engineer and Idea Staticer create a powerful solution that can save you a significant amount of time and allow you to design even the most complex connection.